Time to reveal our surprise celebrity guest. So just in case you're wondering, we're answering the question of how do you create a gallery wall from our producer, Rebecca. Here are your clues. Celebrity interior designer, the Fab Five, mm -hmm. and the original. So you know him, everybody. As a member of the original Fab Five from Woo! Queer Eye from the Straight Guy, please welcome to the Pixel Love More News celebrity interior designer, Tom Felicia. Yeah! Hi, Tom. Yeah! What's up, Tom? How are you? Oh, you're oh. muted. You happy Monday. Oh, there he is. Okay, great. Great wall. Uh, we were trying to give Vanessa a clue, as in you say, bye. Felicia. There you go. Okay, great. It took a while. Good My job, gosh, OG. It took a while, Vanessa. That's hilarious. Walk like a mummy. Yeah. So, uh, Tom, all the rage, these gallery walls. How, okay, I, my, yes. my, so what's going on here when you, when you, you have to map it out before you put it on the wall? Well, yes, you do. So, first of all, I mean, my favorite way to create a gallery wall is you think of it as like telling a story. So you're, you're collecting, um, you know, you're curating these pieces and you're taking all of uh, the art that you sort of want to bring together. And I try to bring together different mediums, like, uh, you know, like a, a paintings, photography, nice. um, drawings, so sort oh, of bring, bring a few different styles. Um, Ooh, also, yeah. I tend to like to do, um, I like when there's a mix of frames, yeah. but cool. there's sort of, but but there's not too many, you know, too okay. many different frames, or they're the same style and different, you know, in different finishes and colors. But the idea is that you're kind of telling a story, and you absolutely want to map it out. And the easiest way to do that is tape out an area with like blue tape that comes off of anything. Mm -hmm. So you can do it on a rug, you can do it on your floor, in the garage, wherever. You tape it out, and then you lay it out the sort of the way you want to see it. And take a and take a photograph of it with your camera, and use that as kind of like your roadmap when yeah. you're laying them out, and and I think that's a really great easy way to do it. Um, and always, you know, I always tell people when you think it's the right height, really look mm -hmm. at it because it's probably too high. <laughs> oh. Yeah, see, my problem is yours yeah. were all perfectly measured, and I, that's where I struggle, right? Yes. Because, you know, you add well, the, you add like a wire hanger to the back of it, but then they're not the same <laughs> length and everything yeah. else. Okay. Well, so, so an, an, a great trick to have them so that it, that makes it a little easier is that, um, is to actually not put them in a grid. I mean, I, a grid format is a, at an advanced move. Uh -huh. If you do them in this sort of loose kind of gallery wall style, re if something's off by like, a, a little bit here and a little bit there, you'll never know because it's supposed to have oh. this kind of like easy, loose kind of thing happening. Very nice. Who's got questions? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I have a question, Tom. Obviously, you yes. know, this could get pretty pricey, right? So is there a cost yep. effective way? I know a lot of people are into the, like the peel and stick frames where you don't have to use a nail. Yes. Um, do you recommend that? Like what's the best way? I, I mean, you know, I, I think for, I don't love the, the peel and stick frame things I think are fun for maybe, you know, when you're younger and you're living in sort of maybe rentals or a dorm yeah. or something like mm -hmm. that. But I think that the, the real, the, the objective of these kind of gallery walls is to sort of collect things over time. Um, and if you have a few pieces that you love that you're bringing together, um, you can also do things with just really inexpensive frames and yeah. um, and sort of interesting things that you find along the way. What the heck Beautiful is a peel and stick of, frame? Um, no, invitations you know have... to galleries and stuff like mm -hmm. that. So yeah, I mean, you can you can kind of make your own art from, mm -hmm. uh, you know, sort of things that you're sort of finding, you know, that you're, that, that you find interesting and framing them. I think that's always more interesting well, and you can find very inexpensive frames that are easy yeah. to sort of drop things in. I mean, now Vanessa's going to go um, home. To, Tom, she's going home now to rip uh -oh. all the peel and stick yeah. off the wall. Yeah. She's gonna be Look what you did. I mean, I'm not the door. I don't know. I just, the, Her the beanbag stairs are going to get the little, Yeah. The futon I don't know. It just to. feels a little sort of 101. Yeah. Right. Uh, ben. I have a question. So I yes. I miss carpeting so much. Nobody does carpeting anymore. Is carpeting, is it all yep. hardwood and then throw rugs? Or is carpeting going to make a resurgence? I miss it so much. Carpeting? I love carpeting. It's like so wall funny. to wall carpeting. I think like what you're talking carpeting. about, yeah, wall to wall carpeting. Wall to wall carpet. But I, you know what? I think it actually, I use it all the time. We tend to use low pile wall to wall, uh, like uh, either like 100% wool or something that's really got sort of a very tight kind of woven like a sisal or something mm. like that that has even a wool in it or something so it can be super comfortable but i like them when they're lower so that you can layer rugs if you want mm. um and it doesn't give you that kind of um it can get a little um 
the wall to wall sort of in living rooms and, and high traffic areas can get a, it, it starts it, it started looks a little sloppy yeah but in a master bedroom you can do something like that and have it really lush and plush um because Hopefully it's not a high traffic area. Mm -hmm. Depends right. on what you do for a living. I what love are your thoughts on, on, <laughs> well, well, well. on peel and stick carpeting? You like peel, peel and stick, stick carpeting, carpeting, yes. Is that good? Yes. Tom. The peel and stick carpeting is fabulous. I, I, I love a good Pepto-Bismol wall-to-wall pink oh, you know, Pepto-Bismol carpet. I miss, carpet. I miss I that. Miss it's, carpeting. Like, it's like, hello, 80s. No, Money soul. I definitely, no it, I don't think it's gone away. I just think people are using it. It's not used sort of, it used to be used sort of throughout the entire house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. kind of like gross. One color. Yeah, no yeah, and then there was always like a mix of colors in the bedrooms. It was right. a little crazy. Right. But yeah, that was a kind of a 70s moment. But yeah. I think that, yeah, people are, yeah, they're, it's a, I think uh, hard surfaces are much cleaner. They're easier mm -hmm. to, to deal with. And, um, you know, so I think that they've, they, they've had a big resurgence. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Marisol. Well, Tom, I, 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 you look fantastic, first mm -hmm. of all. Uh, oh, thank you. You're getting better with Thanks. age, I just have to you're say. Fine wine. Um, so now that I'm 100. I mean, I'm 102. <laughs> I'm right there with you. So if you want to do something inexpensive with your house to just yes. zhuzh it. Yep. You know, I went away for the weekend to Cape May. For those of you who keep Here we go. Uh, yeah. No, but um, my boyfriend and I walked in, and we were just like, oh, we want to change something, but we don't want to break the bank like maybe right. the living room, what can we do? And don't tell me a pop of color with a pillow. Mm. Give me no, something no, no, substantial. No. Okay, easiest substantial thing to do to change the look of a room is, is, is going to be paint. And everyone says, oh, paint's so boring, you know, just a color on the wall. I, you know, you, I do this thing called paint on architecture. I used to do it all the time when I was doing home makeovers on, you know, on various shows, because you can really do something very interesting, whether you do um, you know, you can beef up your baseboards. You can take your trim color and just tape like an inch or two above your base or even go an inch or two out from your door mm. frame. You can really give the room, you can actually take a room that doesn't have any kind of detail on the mm -hmm. ceiling or any crown in the room and you can give it just sort of that trim color along the top in like a three or four or five inch band. Oh. And it's really beautiful. Oh. I've even banded out the wall corners, just to the corners of the wall so that it it just gives the room a sense of architecture. Cool. It's a fun thing to do. All you need is a six pack, a couple of friends, six paint pack? brushes. We'll come it's over. a really easy, an easy way to do six it. Six pack of what? I have. I've been working on a six pack for a very long time, Tom. <laughs> <laughs> All you need is packs. Um, six pack. My gosh. <laughs> but, yeah, but no, but I think in terms of decorating, um, you know, I think even just rolling up the rug for the summer mm -hmm. and having a clean floor and just changing the look of the room that right. way. Um, I wouldn't say one pillow, but you know, redoing, even doing slip covers just for mm -hmm. your cushions on your sofa for the summer with maybe new pillows. That's another great way. Um, I think that okay. I, I think I think lighting is one Tom. of the things that people generally get bad. We, yeah. uh, Tom, I, we, we're almost out of time yes. here, and I have to get to okay. um, the Alrighty. what your former co-stars and you have been up to with Queer Eye oh, yeah. reunion road trip, right? Ooh. So let's play a quick yes. clip. Okay. <laughs> I feel like we should stay away from tequila. Okay, let's see. Shopping for liquor with Tom is literally putting a kid in a candy store. Well, Jay, what do you think about white? You want white? Yeah, sure. Sancerre-ish kind of operation. I actually don't know what a Sancerre is. I see it's that... most like what? Uh, it's very know. dry, minerally, light, fresh, delicious. Crisp summer outside feels uh, like. I do love wine and I do love food and I have the body to prove it. <laughs> is that the six pack? <laughs> That's the six pack you're talking about? Yeah. What's it like seeing everybody? That is hilarious. Oh my god, these are so funny. Wow, those are a blast from the Some path. baggy jeans. I love it. Oh my god. I can't even believe that was the thing. I hope it was. Yeah, it was. <laughs> it is it was. Um, and so that's, uh, that's going to be uh, yeah. airing on Peacock all month long for Pride Month. So that's awesome. We're going to yes. squeeze in OG's oh, yes. quick question here. No, not a question. Just an observation okay. that your your wall, your hair, your shirt, your everything's matching. So is that? Did you plan this? Because I'm just like, okay. I did not. I was like, okay. I did not. I Felicia. actually. I just got out of a car. I was driving in from the eastern end of Long Island with my two dogs, and I ran into the house, and I kind of put this shirt on and yeah. just sat down. Wow. So I'm, there was not a lot of play. Yeah. Well, <laughs> if we could all look like right. that after right. 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 Just, just threw this together. I just happened to have this perfectly coiffed hair right. after yeah. just right. driving right. with my two dogs. <laughs> and Only. I just threw my this old right thing right. on. And oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> must be nice. I, that's hilarious. And is that well, part of your collection? You for making me feel better. The Tom Felicia uh, collection. What? 
the furniture, the, uh, the, the artwork behind me? No, yeah. this is, um, uh, it's uh, Stephen Kerr. He's uh, an artist from uh, Dallas. But you have that, your own collection. Uh, but I do, yeah. So I have I have a furniture line, uh, Tom Felicia Home Collection. I have a furniture, textiles, rugs, artwork, bedding, wall oh. covering. Yeah, I have a whole sort of thing you can, yeah, you can see it. And I, I have a showroom called Sedgwick and Brattle uh, in New York City in the New York Design Center. Okay. And I also have my interior design firm, Tom Felicia Incorporated. Can you redo we our do set? Commercial oh, and residential. <laughs> I would love to redo your set. Please. I mean, your set looks pretty, pretty good, but I mean, it's always, you know, if you... That'd be a fun thing to do. Eight dollar budget we have. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah. Well, I could probably yeah, we'll have a little leftover for for, for another bottle for of six pack. <laughs> for six pack. <laughs> Tom, thank you so much for coming thank on. You. Appreciate you. Thanks, guys.